beloved friends. We are coming to the end of these days of Advent. The end is very close indeed. Tomorrow is the 24th, which of course is Christmas Eve. And we will be celebrating that night, the coming of the light of the world to warm our hearts, to kindle our hope, to fill our hearts with joy. Let peace be with us this day and evermore. I wanted to thank you, those who have wandered this way with me. We have walked these steps along the journey to Christmas, wondering, wishing, hoping, praying for the days when we can be together again. Not sure when that will be exactly, but I was reflecting the other day that it's kind of like a fast. When we fast on the holy days of the year, generally on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday and sometimes other days as well, by not eating, we become profoundly aware of the blessing and the necessity of food. By not being able to gather together at our feast table Sunday after Sunday, we also, with hunger for feeding one another with this bread of life, become more profoundly aware, more profoundly in love with our ritual of sacrifice, of praise and thanksgiving, our feeding of one another with the bread of life. So these fast days and these feast days, they match one another and they come together to nourish our hearts and our souls for when we will be together, when we will sing together, when we will break bread and drink wine and take these holy things into our bodies and into our hearts. I wanted to pray this evening as the darkness has settled on this part of the earth, the Fos Hilaron, the prayer of evening that communities all over the world are saying every night. O oh, gracious light, pure brightness of God, eternal in heaven, O oh, Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O oh God, Trinity ever blessed. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified throughout the world. Beloved friends, tomorrow is Christmas Eve. We will gather wherever we are. Our hearts will be united in celebration for that coming again of love into the world. Amen.